All right, guys, so the other day I did a video on uh, these uh, silicone cups here um, for measuring epoxy and mixing epoxy. Um, and um, I like them. I didn't get to do the review on how they clean up and how easy it is. So this is kind of a follow-up to that video. So um, stick around and check it out. So anyways, let's get to it. So these cups are pretty awesome. Currently, I'm not measuring in them because um, I don't know if I if I uh, measure to 10 and then put my other my hardener on and make it to 20 if the density is the same. And currently, I don't have any other way of, of um, measuring except for the little plastic cup. So right now, currently, all I'm doing is is taking my plastic cup, I, I measure in it, um, pour it into here and stir. You don't get as many bubbles using these silicone cups or the silicone stir sticks. There's a link down in the descriptions if you want to buy this, by the way. Um, and if you haven't seen my other video, go check it out. At the end, I'll put a link to it if you if you want to watch it. Um, but anyway, so I'm going to... Eventually, I, I hope to get like some syringes or something, and then I can just put it right in here, and it eliminates those plastic cups. I just clean out the syringes, and you're done. So, um, But anyways... Let's get to how easy these are to clean. So you can see there's there's epoxy down there in the bottom. All you have to do is just kind of squeeze your cup and that comes right out. Look at that. I need to make molds because that's a waste. That's small businesses. That's money, man. So if you make molds, let me know. Let's help each other out. I'm, I, I need to make some molds because I, I hate wasting money. And that, to me, is just profit right there. But that's not what we're here for. So once I, once I do that, I pull that out. It's pretty well clean once I pull it out. But on the sides, you'll have a little bit. And down at the bottom, you'll just have a little bit there. So I just take my, um, my alcohol here on a paper towel and then just go down in the cup and just kind of wipe around it. Um, Get it as clean as possible with that. Look at that. That thing's clean. The only thing you're going to see in there, if you look at it, let's see if we can see it. Or right there is where the lines are. So it works good, man. This thing is awesome. It, the, you know, the after working with it a little more, the bubbles are definitely less. Um, you're, you're still going to get a few bubbles. That's just from mixing. Um, but what I do is just take take my torch and I just hold it back a little bit, lean the cup over a little bit, hit it. Then you have very few bubbles left, um, if any. On the plastic cups, you can't do that because once that torch hits that plastic, it boom, it just starts deforming. Um, so with the plastic, you got to be really careful on doing that. Um, with these, I, I know they'll melt, you know, if you if you sit there and hold it long enough, it's going to melt. But I, like I said, I just tip my cup, hit it real quick, and the bubbles rise and pop, and I'm good. Um, super easy to clean. Um, I'd highly recommend it. Like I said, there's a link down in the description to go get these. Um, I think I paid 11 or 12 bucks for them. Um, it came with three of these smaller cups. A larger one that was like 250 milliliters and then two stir sticks um, that are silicone as well. So uh, definitely worth the money um, and the investment on these because you're not using the plastic and throwing them away. Uh, currently right now until I get something else to just directly go in here, whether I buy gallons or whatever and use a pump, um, I just wipe out my plastic cups as much as possible and then wipe them out with this, and then I wash them at the sink. I'll do the same thing with this. I'll wash it out at the sink just to uh, just to make sure I get all the alcohol out and it doesn't have a reaction or anything like that. It's just, I don't know if I need to do that, but that's just kind of the way I do it. So anyways, go get these. If you haven't seen my first video, right up here, there's going to be a link to it. Go, go check it out. Check me out on TikTok, Midwest Tumblers and Creations. I'm also on Facebook, same name. Or if you want one of my tumbler turners, I'm on Etsy as well. Um, Midwest Tumblers US. So I can sell them directly through here if you want. Um, but uh, go check it out. Don't forget to check out that link for my first video if you haven't seen it. I appreciate every single one of you that watch. 
That's what keeps me going doing these videos. I do appreciate all of you. If it wasn't for you, I wouldn't keep going. So we'll see you next time.